Hello everyone. Uh, we're keep we're keeping on at the path of Power BI and Business Central and the whole Microsoft stack. Uh, I want to change the diagram a little bit. So we have the cloud uh, like this, and I am going to say we were talking about the Microsoft stack always before. I'm going to say that the Microsoft stack is in the cloud. Some of it is in the cloud and some of it is outside the cloud. Before I kind of connected everything to the cloud, like the cloud was connecting the data together. But this time around, I'm basically going to say uh, that we have, I'm going to use a different color, um, that we have BC inside the cloud, right? And then we have Power BI inside the cloud, Power BI. And so they are connecting together inside the cloud. The reason why I'm doing this is because we have something outside the cloud, like here, uh, which is Power BI Desktop. So the desktop engine um, is outside the cloud. It's going to be on your desktop. And it's going to communicate with Power BI inside the cloud, which communicates with Business Central inside the cloud. So this is an important distinction. So whether you're inside the cloud or outside the cloud. Now this all is Microsoft Stack, whether you're inside the cloud, outside the cloud. Uh, but this is Microsoft Stack inside the cloud, Microsoft Stack outside the cloud. All right, so what we're going to do today, and I'm going to just erase this, is we're going to work with tables and you're going to see it in the app. We wanted to connect two tables together. Uh, so in this case, we're not working with tables, even though you're probably used to tables if you work with uh, reporting or something like that before. Uh, we're using web services. So it's called web service, web services. And uh, the web services that we are going to be accessing is items, uh, which has a number as a field and description. And I write terribly, so just excuse that. Uh, and some other fields. But basically the items web service is the items list, right? And then we also have uh, something that we created, which is called ILE, which is the item ledger entries. Uh, and that's the item ledger entries page in Business Central. And that one has something called item number as a field, and then a bunch of other fields that we are very interested in. And what we want to do inside Power BI desktop, we can actually probably do this also in the cloud, but inside the Power BI desktop, we are going to connect the number to the item number, because these fields connect. And once we connect these together, again, these are not tables, these are web services, but they behave similarly to tables. Once we connect them together, we can report one diagram. So I'll use red here. So like a visualization, um, like a tree map or a pie chart, let's just do a pie chart, like this, which might show quantities, where we can see here cheer instead of the item number. So this would be the item description. So we're taking quantities or sales amounts or some kind of numerical data out of the item ledger entries and we're taking the description out of items. And as we connected it together, all we have to do is just connect the visualization to ILE and then pick the description out of items and it will show up automatically. There's nothing you need to do specifically except connect these two together and understand how that works. So let's see that in the application. Okay, so we are keeping going from where we left off. Um, we were in Business Central, and if we go here into all apps, 
uh, we can get into Power BI. And that's what we're working on right now. Uh, and I actually left where we had created uh, a list by item category and inventory, and also the sales amount by item number. Now, the problem is this is by item number, and I'm taking the item ledger entries here. Um, and the item ledger entries do not have the um, description of the item in them. And so if I wanted to show the description of the item here, um, I couldn't pick that here out of the item ledger entries. So what do I do? What we need to do is actually pick another um, record or table in. And we already have, it's called the items. So we have the item list right here. And the item list, if I look at that, has the description. Now, how do I get something from the item list into a visualization of the item ledger entries? This one here. So how, how can I get the data in here? Um, so if I pick something out of here, the system doesn't know how to connect that with this one. So this is where we actually get into table relations. So if I get into relationships over here, I have these two tables, this one, which is the items and the item that share entries. And I need to tell the system that these are related. The item ledger entries have a relationship with the items. And uh, what is that relationship? Well, the item number field in the item ledger entries is the same as the number in items. So they are connected in a one to many relationship, meaning uh, there are many item ledger entries, one or many um, connected to the item. So if I just pull this number to the item number right here, the system will create this connection. Now it just does this line here, and this is one and then many, and if you're not really sure how this is connected, um, because it doesn't say anything except this line, I can go into manage relationships and it shows me here that the item ledger entries item number is connected to the items number field. And I can, of course, edit this and do whatever I like, but oftentimes I like to actually create everything in here rather than doing this drag and drop. So if I close this out and I go back into the visualizations right here um, and go ahead and pick so I highlight this visualization and pick the description from um, from the items list now it actually works it understands that the uh, description uh, that the items are connected to item ledger entries and therefore the description describes the item which I'm picking right here. And so I have connected these two tables together and the description actually works, which is really nice. So you can actually do all these connections over here in the relationship and then pick them again. And I, again, I'm not doing any joins like with, if you're familiar with SQL queries, I'm not doing programming, uh, not doing any unions. Um, you know, this is just, clicking and connecting in a simple way. And you get pretty far with that. Um, so, okay, so we created this. So let's go ahead and save that. And now it's saved. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually publish this. So I'm gonna publish this into uh, the university test, which is my workspace. And now I'm publishing this um, page up to the cloud again. So I was working on my desktop and I have now published it back to the cloud. So now it's gone up to the cloud. I can just go ahead and log into my Power BI here and just refresh it. So here I have some workspaces. I go into university test um, and I have some reports right here. And so here is my report. So this is uh, now available in the cloud. So in the next video, let's explore how I can actually share this uh, to other people.